try to explain to you how I went from not getting energy from preparing all hands and doing all hands to getting energy and also doing it pretty much stress-free. So there are two main things I changed. And for context, we have weekly all hands and we have quarterly all hands. Um, weekly all hands are more structured. We go over our results, new hires, awards, and I have a section here called Mathilde's Musings that I do every other week. And then quarterly all hands, um, I'm the only one presenting and it's a retrospect on the past quarter and uh, talking about the next quarter. Um, so that's for context. The two things I did that completely changed my relationship with all hands. One is pretty much in the topics I choose and everything I talk about, I talk about it with my heart rather than following a script and thinking about what I think the company needs to hear. So I'll share a very concrete example. On Monday, I'm doing uh, all hands on values. And one of the values I'll talk about is care. And I'm going to share the standards and the rituals associated with the value. One of the standards is connect before you correct. Instead of just saying our ritual is connect before you correct, I'm going to talk about uh, a nonviolent communication uh, training I did with my family, so sisters and parents and my husband's family, uh, parents, brother and sister and a friend, which is something very unusual I did a few weeks ago. Um, I learned a ton for two days and I'm, and it's pretty much about connect before you correct and talking with an intent of connection versus an intent of result. And I love talking about this because I got so much value from it. It's the big I care about. And so I'm talking about values at all hands, but I'm going to talk about something I deeply care about. And this is how I choose what I talk about versus what I don't talk about. And so obviously my all hands about values is not going to be exhaustive, uh, but it's going to be purely focused on the things I care about. Um, and that I think as a consequence become interesting to the company. So tip number one, Talk about the things with your heart, not with your brain. Tip number two is find people that can help you with the things you don't like doing. And this is true for all hands, but obviously true for so many things. You always feel like you're the only one that can do a ton of things when in reality, it's not true. For me, um, for the weekly all hands, two people can help me. Uh, it's mostly our internal comms manager and uh, my executive assistant. And for quarterly all hands, it's my husband. So my husband used to work at front. Uh, now only works one day a week. He's a writer, so he's a very good storyteller. And also he knows me really well. And so at the beginning, at the end of every quarter, we sit down. We think about what are the things that we could talk about. I have a ton of context. So usually I can provide that context initially. But then he is the one that will... Um, find the structure uh, and how we're going to talk about all of this. And this is not something that I'm very good at and is excellent at it. And the collaboration of the two of us makes something really great. And also I love collaborating with my husband. So it's an added benefit. 